The pen tool icon is located on your toolbar menu. This tool is best to use when drawing freehand. Once your lawn is drawn, you can also use a node tool to move the nodes in any way. After moving your nodes, you can also select the image and then add a color. The color will show in all areas completely closed. For this project, we'll add an effect called Edge 3D. Select your image and then click on Effects, Modify Path, and then Edge 3D. Once your new screen appears, choose Apply and then Close. As you can see, our image now has some dimension. The Beze pen will allow you to draw straight lines or curved lines. Once you design your image, you can again colorize the closed areas. For this image, we'll add the 3D effect by clicking Effects, Modify Path, and then Edge 3D. When using the selection tool, you can move the 3D effect away from your image. For this project though, we want to move the shape and the 3D effect together, so we need to group the objects. To do this, click on the selection tool and use the rubber band to select all objects. Choose object, then group, and the two will become one object. We can now move our object without losing our 3D effect. Now we'll learn how to create a text on a circular path. Let's make a circle using our circle tool. First we'll type the text Simon's Tech Tips and shrink it down to size. We'll select all the objects by clicking the selection tool and using the rubber band tool by using our mouse to close both the text and the circle. Now click text and, and then put on path. Our text now follows the circle object. We can use any path for our text to follow. We'll do another by using the pen tool and draw a random line. Now click on the text tool and type in your text. We'll use the rubber band again selecting both the text and the line and, and click text and then put on path. Our text is now aligned with our line. To make the line disappear, simply select the line and use your stroke paint function and click on the X. This will make the line disappear and leave our text with the same path. For this lesson, we'll learn how we can change the font case. We'll type in Simon's Tech Tips in lowercase letters. Now click on Effects, Text, and choose Flip Case. Once the script runs, it will change our lowercase letters into uppercase. We can also use a text effects by choosing effects, text, and choosing random or sentence case. For this project, we'll change our text to all uppercase again. Change the range of our text by making the letters show vertically. 
Once you type in your text, click text, and then text and font. When a text dialog box appears, click the vertical text icon. For our last tip, we'll show you how you can arrange a line spacing to type text. We'll type in Simon's tech tips on three separate lines using a large font. As you can see, there's a lot of white space between the lines. To decrease the space, select the text, click on text, text and font, and then decrease the line spacing to 80%. Then choose apply and close. Our text now appears closer together with minimal white space between our lines.